let's make another chicken and rice recipe. You guys seem to love these, so let's make it a series. Today we're going to be making chicken mendi. You're going to start by getting all your spices and mixing them together really well. On about 2.5 pounds of washed chicken, you're going to pour half of the spice mixture. We're going to save the other half for the rice. About 1 fourth cup of oil. I use avocado oil, but any neutral oil would do. Rub the spices in the chicken and set aside. In a separate pan, heat up a fourth cup of avocado oil. Once it's heated, throw in two large chopped onions, along with four cloves, four cardamom, two bay leaves, Get it to a golden brown color. Add three cups of soaked and washed basmati rice and the rest of your spices from before. Three grated garlic and half an inch of grated ginger. Give them a quick mix. Make sure you don't over mix the rice, it will break. Be as gentle as you can. Once everything is mixed, add three cups of chicken broth along with three cups of water. Making it a total of six cups of liquid, but if you're gonna do two cups of rice, only use four cups of water. Give everything one last to make sure nothing's stuck on the bottom. Place any rack you own on top of your rice pot. Add in your seasoned chicken. Stab the chicken a bit for faster cooking. Also, if you don't have a rack, you can just use foil. We're gonna wrap everything as tightly as possible. Cook in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. Remove the chicken and broil from 10 to 20 minutes. All depends on your oven. Remove your whole spices because you do not want to bite into these. Fluff up the rice. Bring the broiled chicken back. Place on top of the rice. This part is optional, but I love smoking the rice and chicken with foil, a piece of charcoal, and some oil. And you're done. Make sure to follow for more delicious recipes and let me know what you want to see next.